Isn't that just horrendously frustrating? Just some misplaced upside down triforces. Come on. Just get into place. That was almost a Captain Kirk. It's just like, it's just off enough that it makes me really upset. And that's why we're going to do Triforce Hunt. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, we're just going to jump right into it. And uh, I told you I wanted to do more of that Link to the Past randomized. And, uh, well, to avoid burnout. I'm streaming the games that I wish to stream and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. And I really loved this randomizer so much. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, Triforce Hunt, and I'll explain everything in just a moment. After this, we'll do a quick look at Iconoclasts, something I've been interested in for a little bit now. You'll see. You'll see. It's a Metroidvania. It's, it's right up my alley. Um, so... Let's see... Yeah, that works. And that's why! Okay, so, listen. You'll notice... I'm Luigi. Don't worry too much about that, that's... Irrelevant. But I would like to... Explain some of the rules of what I'm doing. I'm doing something a little different today with this randomizer run. Okay, so you'll notice at the top right it says zero out of 20 Triforce pieces. I need to find 20 Triforce pieces throughout the map. That's the the end goal. Okay. This is open mode, which means I'm gonna read it. This mode starts with the option to start in the house or the sanctuary. You are free to explore. There are a few points to note in this mode. Uncle is already in the sewers and has a randomized item. Not necessarily a sword. Dark rooms don't get a free light cone, not even the sewers. And you don't start with a sword and it might be a while until you get one. So... That's not a helpful thing to find in that treasure chest. So 20 Triforce pieces. I have no sword. I'm Luigi. And I have to find a lamp before I can start really doing some exploration. Yeah! 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 Yo! <laughs> I guess I'll go see what the uncle has. The uncle. do this. Yeah, I'm finally streaming Mario and Luigi. This is what everyone wanted, and it's finally here, performing for you. So, uh, people wondering about Subnautica, that will be in the next week or two, so look forward to that. I saw the, um, most of the <laughs> release stream. What a glorious train wreck that was. I feel so bad for the developers and the, the staff. They streamed the Subnautica release from an aquarium, and there were so many problems the whole time. But it does look great. It's been over a year since I played it. I'm excited to return to it. Let's see what the uncle has. The uncle has a piece of the Triforce, one of 20. Thanks, uncle. Not the most helpful thing I've ever seen, but I'll take it. More arrows. That was, I... Was that an arrow upgrade? Like a perma upgrade? Um, couple of other orders of business. Uh, some emotes. Vine Blind is now an emote in chat. I removed the middle Vine Luigi tongue. In order to get that thing going. And, um... I guess we can get that one treasure chest in the castle. No. Should we? Can I? Um, yeah, while I'm here. So, yeah, Vine Blind is here. Um, Luigi lost the, the middle tongue. You know, the vote was, was pretty clear. 
and I feel like, you know, it's, it sucks that Luigi's gonna be shortened a bit, and, uh, and again, no matter what we do with the emotes, people are gonna be upset, so if you're upset, um, email, there is no email address for this complaint at gmail.com, and you can, uh, your voice will be heard. Herded into a trash bin. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to, um, have the Vine Blind emote mock me. Let's see, Vine what? The Mega Man emote has been improved, courtesy of Sonoishi. Which is now... a slightly, um, more expressive emote. It could still get removed, it's gonna go on the poll soon. For what we replace next. But there's some question marks, so it's... a little bit clearer about what's going on there, like, it's, it's, it's for moments of what the fuck is happening. Um... So that's not too bad. Um, I didn't really like the Vinny one, like I said, there's a, there's too many, uh, versions of me. So I'm pretty happy to keep Mega Man. Uh, oh shit. Did I just softlock? I did. Okay. So, we'll, we'll still take a vote. I want to get Brain Yacht, potentially. Um... That could happen. Let's go back to Luigi's house. So... The goal is... I guess, find a sword. That would be great. Anything would be helpful. Any kind of weapon. Um, anything that isn't just a bush or a sign. Vinny, did you see the M&M's commercial with Danny DeVito? I, I did. Super Bowl, he says. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. He's in chocolate. Um, oh, speaking of emotes, I wanted to, um... I hate to start the stream on a dour note, but, uh, the actor for Tinky Winky, the Teletubby, passed away. It's very sad. There's a Triforce piece. It's true. Tinky Winky was real. Well, the actor was real. So, uh... I don't really do the voice, though. That's the thing. I My Tinky Winky voice is not actually Tinky Winky. It's just some schlubby, like, weirdo from New York. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. That's not even really anything like Tinky Winky. I don't know how that happened. But everyone... Any, everyone is, uh, of course, informing me of, of the, uh, the loss. And, uh, I don't really want to make any jokes about it because there's nothing to really joke about. It's sad. It sucks when anyone dies. So rest in peace. Those bombs there are really going to help out. YouTube stream is not up. It's still up. No, it's not. I took it down. Yeah, one rupee. You might still be able to view it, but it's it's officially private. Um, so we got two of twenty, which is like really good so far. Uh, for Luigi. Uh, I chose normal, which means I need 20 out of 30. So... I don't really know what that applies to. Maybe... It'll be quick. Maybe this will be a one hour run. Maybe two hours. But that's pretty much the amount of time I was looking to spend. I want to see how fast I can complete this. And also, uh, I wanted to see how... Triforce Hunt worked. Okay. 
Oh, there's a full heart. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, the hammer. Beautiful. That's a weapon. That'll work. 300 rupees! This is a really good start. It's very appropriate that Luigi would have a hammer, too. Yeah! Oh! Um, the Subnautica question I answered many, many, many times. I'll answer it one more time. I plan on streaming Subnautica now that it's complete sometime in the next couple weeks. Bug kid, right? What do we need for the bug kid again? An empty bottle? No. Show me a bottle, get something. Right, right, right. Just checking. Hammer does not destroy that. No, get out of here. Fucking chickens, god damn it. Come on, sword. Yeah, 20 rupees. I think I need 500 for whatever that dude is selling. So again, this is totally randomized. Every item you get is randomized without glitching. In the, in the sense that um, it's still completable. And there's an internal logic that works out everything so that you don't get stuck. You only need 100 for that dude? Oh, right, okay. Well, let's go see. Maybe this is the guy that has the sword. Um, okay. Alright, we can warp around. That's gonna be useful. Nice. Duck unlocked. Alright, I know it's not a duck. But it's got like a beak like a duck. Come on. It should be a duck. Um, do I want to go anywhere around here yet? Like the mountain, maybe? Or, um... I don't know. I'm trying to think of uh, good places, good places to go. Let's start with this. This is always a good one for a couple items. Do the flute song with the duck voice. <laughs> no, I'm gonna die if I do that. Uh, Vinny, it's called a bill. You're... You're right. That's right, yeah. Vinny dies from choking the stream. It's not a sword, but... Um, actually, at this moment, a thing that would be great... ...would be... ...bombs again. So, I don't have any bombs, and that's not great. So... old man gives you an item when you lead him to his cave, that's correct. I don't think I can get there yet. Oh wait, yes I can. You could do, do the castle dungeon with the hammer now. Okay. Did, really? Fuck. This is truly vine-blind. 
do the fake flipper glitch? I don't know how. I don't do the glitches, I'm sorry, I'm not like a professional. <laughs> I'm not a runner, I just play the game for fun, and I, I, I don't know. Just trying to figure this out as I go along. That is a little bit better, I guess. So there's three bombs there. Um, I could think of a couple of places that require said bombs. The ice cave, for one. Start with the ice cave. It's poetic that it's a hammer. I know. If I never get a sword for this whole run, I'd be okay with it. As long as I start with a hammer, and that's exactly what happened. It's very appropriate. Jesus fucking Christ. Vin, you're my favorite speedrunner. Vin, you're my favorite blade runner. I'll take that one. I could always... Uh, I could always buy more bombs. Vin, you're my favorite customer. Oh, hi, doggy. First death. Fine. No, it's, it's, um, yeah. It's intentional. And push the lever! Still haven't watched Lord of the Rings yet? No, I'm, I've seen it many, many times. I haven't watched the Blu ray that I purchased for myself because of whatever reason. I'm, like, afraid to go back on that journey. And you know what's gonna happen after I watch it again? After I watch it again, it's just gonna be Lord of the Ring quotes. Just one ring. But Lord of the Ring quotes. Every day. For like, two months. Okay, now this is the best cave right here. There are many... Many good items in this cave, but you need to kill... Man, that fucking hammer hitbox sucks when you try to attack something above you. Here we go. Another heart piece. 50. The magic mirror. Another heart. And plus five total bombs. That is okay. Do I have a preferred type of duck? Uh, not really. I like a, a lot of different ducks. But learning about the ones, those, like, small ones, what are they called? Call ducks? I think they're probably my favorite now, just because they're small and they're beautiful and cute. Yeah, the mirror is gonna be useful for later, but, I mean... Not right now. There's runner ducks I like. Big goofy fuckers said so that they are. Vinny, what happened to Beanor? Well, Beanor had to be sacrificed. Um, so yeah, Beanor is dead, rip Beanor. But I did get, uh, when I played Skyrim today, uh, just to do a couple quick quests, I got a, a, um, a postman came to my house and was like, hey, You know, here's a letter for you, and 300 gold. 
I got paid insurance for Beanor's death. Even though I killed Beanor. I don't know if insurance is the correct word, but... So not only did I sacrifice Beanor willingly, but then I, like, inherited money in his name. As a dependent. I have the letter. I'll show you next time I do scrum. Okay, now that's a lot of bombs. The Lost Woods is next, but before I do that, I have one more um, spot in Kakariko that I need to get to. I'm hoping I can do this in two hours, which means another hour and a half from now. Oh, wait, no, I did that already. Yeah, okay, never mind. Sazrahala, there's the um, Death Mountain. So there's a bunch of stuff that I can do without going into a dungeon. Um, and hopefully I can find a fucking sword before then. Holy shit, please. Yeah, the hammer is okay, but there are some issues with the hammer too. It has good damage, but it's got a fucking wonky, very specific hitbox. Jape sword. It's amazing what the Lost Woods became. Oh! Yay. It's amazing what the Lost Woods became, like, because this is totally... You could just navigate this in, like, two, three minutes. And then Ocarina of Time... It was a little bit more complicated, just a little bit. And then by the time you get to the Breath of the Wild... It's a whole fucking process to get through the Lost Woods. Oh shit. Luigi. <laughs> I tend to get early blue mail in my randomizer runs. Um, was that the blue mail? Is that where it was last time? Same spot? Oh yeah, Tingle got the blue mail in the same spot. Yeah. Let's see. How long did it take Vinny to finish the Master Sword run? Uh, about three hours and fifteen minutes or so. Maybe slightly longer, I'm not really sure. It was two separate streams. Vinny, when can we have a full discussion about Blade Runner 2049? I, I actually did a review of the movie. Um... It's on the Full Sauce channel. When the movie first came out, I talked about it for like an hour and ten minutes or so. So you can go check that out. Uh, I was planning on doing a Star Trek Discovery spoiler discussion. Because, you know, CBS, I'm on the payroll. I said I'm on the payroll. <clears throat> ah, there's the check. Yeah. So, uh... So yeah, I already talked about that movie in pretty great length. I don't, I don't think there's anything left to say about Blade Runner or the sequel that I haven't said two or three times. But I still like talking about it. Oh yeah. I have to beat the dungeon, right? Yeah. Hour does not equal discussion. Minimum is five-ish hours. Jesus. 
Silver arrows. Medallion? This dude was hiding some good shit. I can't use it. Vinny, I'm interested in your most recent thoughts. Butternut squash? I don't like it. Does that count? That was the most recent thought that was in my mind, unfiltered. Probably wasn't worth your time. Okay, where to? Um, I might have to do... I might have to do the dungeon. Check out what's atop and inside Spectacle Rock. Okay. Well, I'm not going left, that's for good goddamn sure. Um, I need a lantern before I can successfully... Wait, old man is not supposed to be here. Oh, oh right, okay. That's a thing. The game probably doesn't register that you would ever get up here without rescuing old man. So old man is just always there. was I when I first played this game? Seven. I remember my aunt bought it for me when I was, um, and this is now just a giant insect, by the way. My aunt bought it for me when I was seven, so when it first came out, and, um, it's a surprisingly complex game for a seven-year-old, even, even though it seems a bit quaint now. It tripped me up a lot. Also, I would argue that this game was pretty instrumental in teaching me how to read. Well, not completely, but it, it helped. It helped tremendously. Because I really wanted to know what the fuck was going on. I wanted to read stuff like this. Cave away from sky cabbages. You know, so I put the effort in to learn. I wanted to read. I wanted to learn how to read better. So I could understand what was happening in the game. That is a shitty upgrade. That is, uh, 300. 300's alright. Let's see if I can get that. I don't remember how to get the 300. Was it this one? Once I have flippers. Or no, 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 I just need to get to... I just need to get to the Zora. You can check the caves on the right side of the mountain since you have the hammer. There's like six chests over there. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good, because last time I played this, I didn't get the hammer until much later. Also, the <laughs> Luigi's walk animation is so fucking silly. And it makes me... Very happy. Okay, I go to the store. This is the way he moves his arms. Plie, play tingle. Oh no, I, I I'm not brave enough for tingle. Uh, Tingle was yesterday, and, uh, will show up again soon. To the right of the Tower of Hera. Oh, okay. Also, hey, Joel. This does have Luigi. It's, um, the randomizer. J 
Joe is here. Hi, Joe. Vinny, I only watch for the tongue rolls. Like, arr, that. It's like a fucking machine gun. Oh, hey, Joe! Oh, that's awesome. I had no idea that the bunny was changed. So this is what Luigi 8-bit looks like from the front. Make it stop. Oof. Oof! God damn fucking gophers. Why is Luigi on this quest? I'm sure there's some really important lore. Maybe Link was sick again? The only one who could who could uh, make this happen was Weech. I don't know. I just don't know. Link is, like, outsourcing help for Hyrule. Vinny's in a pickle. Oh, thank God. I don't remember this cave system. This- this is not going as well as I had hoped. I like how Rick and Morty ruined the word pickle for people. Like, I can't even- I can't even do a Chrono Trigger quote. That I've been doing for years because of the Rick and Morty episode. God damn it, Rick and Morty. You had to get that popular? Fuck. Is- is Fuzzy Pickles ruined too, from Earthbound? This is a good one. I completely missed this this room last time I streamed the randomizer. Okay. No. No. Mm. Fine. Moon Pearl, that's good. Dark World is now accessible. Um, and I can also... ...do that. <laughs> Just in case. Vinny, do you think chickens have dreams? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good question.
Solid question, my lad. Like ambitions or sleep thoughts? No, no, they have ambitions to be the tastiest McNugget. That's what I meant. <laughs> Implying McNuggets are made of chicken. Touche. Okay, so, uh, Vinny, are you gonna see David Byrne on his tour? Uh, I couldn't get tickets last time I tried, but thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna try again. Let's see. had a fish dinner. I still remember it to this day. Didn't that dude say something about farting last time? Does he have, like, dynamic text? Beep. Beep. I just haven't found a sword yet. It's not a swordless run. Does this randomizer randomize your character? You could do that. They've implemented a fuckload of characters. And there's a random option, but uh, I specifically chose Luigi this time. I chose Tingle last time. Still can't get the old man. I can do, um... Do I have the gloves yet? No, but I can do... I can do the sewer. No, I can't do the sewer. Because I don't have the fucking... Lamp. Lantern. Why is there a yellow? What, what is this? Yellow? I guess I can do more of escape now. Watch the sword be in Hyrule Castle. Hera is open. Oh, that's true. I could do the Eastern Palace. I could do the Tower of Hera. Let's start with Escape, and then I'll, I'll head over there. Escape, for those that don't know, is the intro of the game where you rescue Zelda. Um... But yeah, I mean, I guess I'm kind of... ...making slow progress, but... Keep in mind, there are 30 Triforce pieces scattered throughout this world. I only need to get 20 of them. So... This might end up being two streams. I thought it was only gonna be one, but... It might be a two-parter. But yeah, I love... I love how randomizers make me want to play the old games that I've beat a thousand times and just go back to them. Like, this is the best randomizer I've encountered yet, and there's some good ones, but this is the most customizable. It's the most fun, and I think it's really, really, really professionally made. As I said last time, you can do so much with it. And it doesn't, 
like, soft locked your game, really. Well, I mean, you can still save and quit out, like when I was in this room. <laughs> there it is! Do key sanity next? Oh, no, 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 no. I was one room away from the sword, but I just physically had no, no way to kill that guard. So there was no way I could get it. Which sword is that? It's just the fighter sword, it's called. Vinia, if you haven't listened yet, I recommend the Phantom Thread OST. That's the one that Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead did, right? Nominated for an Oscar? Good for him. Though I could never picture Johnny Greenwood in a suit. At the Oscars. Um, Blade Runner got five nominations. But I'm gonna go ahead and be an asshole and say that I think it should have gotten a Best Director nomination. Denis Villeneuve is my favorite working director at the moment. I hope it wins, I hope it wins for cinematography at least. Deacons deserves that one. Even though, really, who cares? Fuck the Oscars, but also, people care, and... I don't know. Yeah, Boss Baby got a nomination. But yeah, it deserves cinematography. I would even give it one for sound design. And, uh, the other one was Best Visual Effects, which I don't think it'll win, even though... that book I was telling you about is really, uh... It's really astoundingly interesting. Some of the stuff that was done in that movie. They used, like, real sets, miniatures, never mind. This is truly Vine Blind at its finest. I'm really, really, really happy I made that emote happen tonight. I'm gonna do that again. I have a general idea where to, where to go, and I just want to get to the room with the three treasure chests. What's up, bro? You, you like rats, bro?
The Shape of Water got a fuckload of nominations. Dunkirk got a fuckload of nominations. Get out. I feel like, um... I kinda want Jordan Peele to keep... keep climbing the mountain before he wins an Oscar. Like, that was his first movie. If he wins an Oscar for his first movie, I would be very happy. And amazed, as well. But, um... He's good. And I think he's only gonna get better. I haven't seen The Shape of Water. Though... Now I am very interested. Isn't it top left? Oh, there's the room shape. Oh, I need a key for this one. There's a treasure chest somewhere around here. I know this is like th thrilling gameplay, but uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it happen. This is now just a podcast. There it is. Ah, oh, fuck, there is no key in there. Isn't there another one? Ah, uh, fuck it. Whatever. I know there's another key somewhere around here, but... An attempt was made. I should go for Tower of Hera first, or Eastern Palace. Ah, uh, let's just do Eastern Palace. I just- I need this wretched beeping to stop. Oh, thank you. One of the early chests in Hera is blocked because you don't have a lamp or fire rod. Look at Luigi's face when he swings. His eyeballs, like, pop out and bleed. Yeah! I think Logan was nominated for one Oscar. Maybe two? I'm not sure. Probably should have been nominated for a couple more, to be honest. Patrick Stewart. Would have been a good nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In my humble opinion. Logan Jones, my favorite YouTuber. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the guy.
Anthony, do I need to watch previous X-Men movies to understand Logan? It is the least superhero comic book movie I think I've ever seen. It's it's a drama with action here and there. Like and it's good action, but it's it's grounded. It's the movie opens with the word fuck. I would say you don't really need no, you you could watch that on its own. It's it's just a good standalone movie and it's really well acted and written and uh, directed. It's just a good movie, really. And um Huge Jackman is really good in it. And it's it's kind of sad because it's a goodbye to the character. So knowing the character growing up with the X-Men movies, it'll be better. That was early. And no, it's not a perfect movie. Uh, almost really no perfect movie exists. Maybe Alien, in my, again, unprofessional trash opinion. Oh yeah, Smirch was good in it. Yeah. Can't deny the Smirch. Uh, Hugh Jackman did get ripped compared to the first movie. And maintained rippedness, and then dehydrated himself for one of the movies, if I remember correctly. Okay, 25% there. Look at this animation. Oh! I push, but nothing happens! Treasure chests. Oh, no. This, this run kind of makes me realize how lucky I was last time to be able to get some of the, um, the things I did early. You don't really think about, like, how an, a lantern could ruin an entire run. It says 666. Hilarious. For a short time, my Twitter, um, followers, I was following 420, and I had 666 followers, 600, uh, 66,600. That's useful. So that was cool. That was good because it was a double. If only I had 69 tweets. Am I right? Sorry, am I right? Good morning. I think I gotta come back here. Vinny, you woke my cat. <laughs> I hope you're ashamed. Again, it's a good thing I have a limiter on my voice. That would have been a lot worse. Otherwise. That's okay. We, we could all use it. It strengthens your ears. Did you know that? 
you know how when you work out your muscles, like, you kill them a little bit so that they get stronger? This is a very scientific thing that I'm talking about. This is, uh, designed to strengthen your ears. Village of Outcasts. Oh yeah, that's right. Village of Outcasts is next. All oh, right, I can't do that yet. I can go seeing uh, King Zorano here. I have enough money for this. I wonder if this is going to be another awesome um, spend 500 rupees. Get okay. I'm never going to get that. Spend 500 rupees, get 20 rupees. Best investment. The 20 big ones, I'm ready for them. Still to this day, take the wrong path. Five hundred rupees for one rupee. I can get a one single rupee. Please. Make it happen. Oh! The Master Sword, that opens everything up. Well, it helps open things up, that's nice. Bird cannot hear you. That's a good value, but also... <laughs> look, at, look at the fucking icon, it's amazing. I was gonna say, also, how did King Zora come into possession of the Master Sword? This is a whole new story for the Zelda universe that is yet to be explored. It's, it's just... chock full of lore. Okay, so I'll be streaming this for maybe another 50 minutes or so, meaning I need another 15 Triforce pieces. That's probably not going to happen, but I think we can... I'm going to go for halfway. I think I can get 10 in the next 50 minutes. Map. Shield. Could be worse. Got really lucky with hearts. Triforce pieces? Yeah, I need five of twenty Triforce pieces. This is a randomizer after all. And it has a number of different options. So, last time I did just bring the Master Sword to the pedestal. This time it's bring all uh, to get 20 out of 30 Triforce pieces that are hidden. Okay, so where to next? I have to. Uh, are the outcasts. Outcasts, but can I do. Okay. Yeah, I have the hammer. I can do outcasts. Have you considered using the UI element they showed at GDQ to track items? Uh, I don't know how to do that. I haven't looked into it. But if I do more randomizer stuff, I will I will look into it and see how that works. Not having the Pegasus boots is another uh, detriment. Okay, I have to go in from the top there. 
the flute boy, the cave of Berna, David Byrne. Kakariko race. I can do that now. There's still dungeon stuff that needs to be done, but I really, really need a lantern. Sparks around the Master Sword when you swing. Also, those trees give good, uh... <laughs> bombs. Don't they? You know some depraved fuck... ...tried to fuck those trees. I'm sorry, I'm just speaking the truth. And this is the Dark World, after all. Just saying, it probably happened. It's always first try. Okay, just making sure. I know people said that last time, but... So any vital items that I might have gotten over there, I already got. More bombs. God damn it. There's also the, the, the bat cave. Not that bat cave. As I commented last time- oh, nice! That opens up everything else. Just about. As I commented last time. It's amazing how well some of these houses are upkept. This is the village of outcasts after all, and they just let their shit go to, like, rotten. But then some houses are immaculate on the inside. choices. No magic powder. Oh, you're right, I don't have the magic powder. Shit. Okay, I think the village... I think the village is done. Um, I think I need to... There's a little frog fellow up there. I need to do the race. And then the dude under the bridge. Anthony Kiedis, of course. Oh, nice. You could have this trash. It's a piece of fucking Triforce.
Some people just don't know what they have, man. I'm telling you, one person's trash is another person's treasure. Okay, bridge. Um, not that bridge, right? Oh fuck, I forgot how to get to the bridge. Or is it that bridge? How did I do this? South Bridge. Oh yeah, it's that one. I was looking at the one uh, by Hyrule Castle. I don't know, I, I kind of had like a... You would call it a brain fart, I'd call it brain diarrhea. Also, Tom Segura, Netflix... Uh, special. Pretty good. First time I saw Segura do, uh, comedy. Well, I've heard him on podcasts and shit, but I've never checked him out. Pretty fucking funny, dude. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Why is Vinny a Luigi? Are you implying there are multiple Luigis th throughout various dimensions? Someone said in chat, I think Binyat will get the ice rod next. Let's see. Place your bets, everybody. Place your bets. What am I gonna get next? Only one of those enemies in the entire game that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, for the record, I don't, I don't think there's anything up here. Uh, I can do the Dark World thing to get another one. We gotta do the waterfall now. It's very slow going. I did the ice cave. Vinny, I see something green is the next item. Could be the lamp. Okay. Alright, let's see. Bottle. And arrow upgrades. Wrong! Okay, well that means... I can talk to the bug boy. Who I believe will give me the lamp, the lantern, the whatever. Give hook shot. Oh, okay. Full magic gets extra magic for no reason. Oh, I'm I'm sorry to have offended your video gaming sensibilities by getting an item that I didn't need. Sometimes you see shiny object, you walk towards it, but you're right. I will take a more concerted effort to do nothing redundant in a video game from this point forward. Which means the Skyrim streams 
have officially come to an end. Nine! More Skyrim streams, in fact. Where am I going next? I can't do the flute, kid. Oh, wait, yes, I can. But come on, no, you've never played a video game and you've never seen a shiny object and you gotta go, like, pick it up. I pick up rupees in Zelda games that I don't need just because it's like an instinct. It's one of those things, the game conditions you. Dark world, dark world, dark world, duck world, duck world, duck world. Are you a bird? Yes, specifically a magpie. Howard the Duck, George Lucas, Star Wars, Jar, Jar Jar is the key to all this. Jars. Bottle is the next item. Word association does not predict items. Working to my goal of at least 10 out of 20, and I still have another, let's say, 35 minutes of streaming for tonight, for this game. That was a mistake. I was supposed to go back into the dark world. Here I was thinking about jars. See? I went and picked it up again. Didn't even think. It just happened. So I gotta do this again. Flute Boy is going to give me a nice shiny rupee. That's cool. So there are different levels of torture. I mean randomization. For Triforce Hunt. So easy is 10 out of 30. Normal is 20 out of 30. This is normal. Then, after that, is 30 out of 40, then 40 out of 50, and then I think 50 out of 50. I think that's the correct... Let's see. The, uh, 40 out of 40 is expert. Insane is 50 out of 50. So that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I still don't have a shovel. I don't think I would do key sanity. Key sanity sounds like a nightmare, where different keys from different dungeons are scattered about the map.
digging field guy loans you a shovel, so you don't need it to do that mini game. Okay. I always loved this dude. I don't know what his head is to this day, however. So is this random or is it first? Like the other minigame. Oh, there it is. It's 50 rupees. Time's up, time for you to go. This is a better story than Link to the Past. Okay, um, before I start doing dungeons, I mean, we're pretty much... We we've hit most of the big locations that are not in dungeons. the old man, I kind of forgot about that. Um, sanctuary cave from the dark world, magic cape tomb, woodcutter's cave. I need to defeat Aghanim before I can do woodcutter's cave. Oh, I can see what's in there and see how vital it would be to kill Aghanim. Um, cave of Brina. I, I need to know where that is. Brina? Brina? Brine shrimp? Where's that now? is there going to be Tingle tonight? Uh, rule of thumb for my streams, if, uh, the tweet, or what the title on Twitch doesn't say the game, then probably not. So now after this is Iconoclasts. I think I have... Okay, so I need Titan Mitt. Like, any item for progression is important. So the Titan Mitt... I need... The Lantern. A second. Let's go do this real quick. I know there's a bomb jump across this chasm. I could probably figure it out, but it, it would take me a while. Not exactly, like I said, I'm not exactly the glitch champion. I'm, well, it's my passive, but if you ask me to purposefully glitch a game, I'm gonna need a corruptor. Oh, you could have hookshot it across, that's right. I forgot I had the damn hookshot. Quickest dungeon ever. <laughs> A 
every time. Without fail. Worst. Worst boss. Oh man, it's not worth the charge. And a crystal, even though you're supposed to get a pendant. I love that Luigi face, that was a good one. about the uh the thing i forgot there were more chests in that dungeon it'll probably end up being you know map again somehow and it'll probably be compass and then lantern of course Come on. Ah. Okay, well, I got to go back up there. If there's two more treasure chests, then I got to go, you know, I got to go back up and get them. Vinny, you're missing the magic jars. I know. Vital magic chars. So I have a question about the, um... The item thing that you put on the side. What, what were they calling? Like, the interface? Not the interface. The UI for the chat. To show what items I have and... Stuff like that. So, my question is... That's not automatic, right? That's not, like, tied to the emulator. The HUD. That's- that's something you have to update yourself, right? You have to manually click. So, in, like, really crazy speedruns, do they have someone else do that? There is an automatic one, but there's also... There's also a manual one, which... The automatic one is apparently banned according to the chat. In some places. You know the clown? I know that's a great way to start a sentence. I, I bet you're just- you're at the edge of your seat right now trying to figure out what's next. 
Starting a sentence, you know the clown. Do you know the clown that they have at like carnivals and boardwalks and like street festivals that you have to dunk in the water? You throw like a, a baseball and you try to hit, not the clown, but you try to hit like a target next to the clown so that it gets dunked. Okay, well, the setup was so long that the tile stopped hitting Luigi. I was gonna say, Luigi kind of looks like, like a clown who's dodging... ...a baseball. But it took me too long to say that. I can't get this. Wait, does this light? That wouldn't interact, right? It doesn't interact with these things. Okay, it's gotta be the compass, though. Um, no? Where'd you go? Okay, I don't have the book. Check lumber? Okay, uh, I'll do lumber in a second. Let me- let me take a look at, um... ...the place above... ...the sanctuary- near the sanctuary. Cave of Burna is directly south of the warp you use to get on top of Spectacle Rock. Go into the dark world and just walk that way. Okay. So, I already talked about Tanky Winky's actor, which is very sad. I talked about Subnautica. And... some other stuff I talked about. But yeah, people have been asking about Subnautica and Tinky Winky mostly <laughs> during the stream. Two wildly different topics of conversation. And to answer Subnautica questions a final time... ...in a week or two. After Tingle. Yes, it is. Fuck, I don't remember how to get there. Um... I didn't have to get, like, this far in the previous run. Here's something. This could lead to a lamp. Even so, I'm like halfway there, so I feel like progress was made. I thought this was going to be a lot quicker, but yeah. Even on normal, this could take a while. Oh, fuck. <laughs> More rupees, god damn it. by the pyramid as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You 
you can hook shot across the broken bridge. Someone named Black Onyx Star says, uh, Vinny, what's your take on various rocks, rock formations, and stones? That is an excellent question. I, uh, some are good, some are less good, and some look better than others. Oh, I can't... I can't get there through here. Fuck it, let's go kill Aghanim. Vinny, wasn't this asked a few nights ago? It's asked every night. And they want me to say, it rock, or they rock. Asked. Is that <laughs> I asked you a question. Please respond, please. I'm a for, uh, I'm a fan of uh, igneous rock. Even this doesn't work, god damn it. Alright, never mind Aghanim. This is really tough. And if you're gonna speedrun this shit, you need to think of all the variables. I always gave credit to speedrunners for being like, superhuman when it comes to shit like this, but I never really put... I never really put the, the details together until I played this randomizer. I mean, well, that's not true, because Final Fantasy VII was one of the craziest fucking speedruns ever with the step manipulation. I couldn't believe what I was watching, but... For a randomizer speedrun, yeah, you have to take everything into account. You have to know the game inside and out. So, I'm gonna do the Sanctuary Cave. I didn't realize how many areas had a requirement of the Lantern. It's a fucking lot. Could always do blinds hideout. Vine blinds hideout. Of course. <laughs> and I can also uh, see what's. I can at least see what's going on with the lumberjack now that I'm here. Why is, like, crispy oven broccoli so good? Can someone explain? What is that? Why is broccoli, like, okay, and then you put it in the oven with a little salt, pepper, oil, and lemon? For, like, 15, 20 minutes, depending on what else is in there. Or 50. And then it's amazing! Why is that like that? Oh, it's good with cheese, too, yeah. Yeah. 
300. Okay, good. I never have to get that. Because anything healthy is cooked out. <laughs> Fuck. So yeah, that was what was for dinner tonight, basically. That plus steak. So any health benefit was outweighed, probably. Good advice, thanks. It was steak gum. Yeah. Just like in Tingle. Vinny, how do you cook steaks? Uh, medium rare. If it goes a little extra, that's fine. Uh, anything less than I'm, I'm a little skeeved out, to be honest. Like, I don't want the thing alive. I don't know if I can actually get this. Absolutely mental. I need the boots to get this. Top left. Okay, let me see the top left. No, I still need the boots. Because you gotta crash into this. Like Dave Matthews. Wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on. No. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yep. My favorite quote from Star Wars. Yep. There we go. Hey, KY. Welcome to Strum. Okay, so essentially I've learned that there are still a number of locations. Mainly dungeons. So I don't really need the lantern if I just find all the Triforce pieces before then. But... That's probably not gonna happen without the lantern. I'm thinking about any of the dungeons that require a lantern. And there's a lot of them. Okay, so now I need to do, um, the Great Palace. But where- where can I approach that from? Probably... okay. Okay, I know what I have to do now. 
So I'm gonna play this for another 10-15 minutes, but uh, I'm just gonna check as many non-dungeon locations as I can. Pyramid. Yeah. It was such a good start, too. I found the hammer real early. And that was, like, perfect. But yeah, there's too many dungeons that are not doable. Or, I should say, not doable with my level of skill. Some people can do dungeons in the dark. Okay, so... So we'll do this. Um, there's the cave that I missed. Probably gonna hold off on the cave and I'm just gonna go to the... The dungeon. The blind dungeon. Uh, you can't get to the temple from here, can you? Yeah, the dark world's a bit more fragmented. Cape Cave, and Swamp. Okay. I don't think there's any more locations that have like five or six treasure chests. That was just living the dream. Those decorations. They're so beautiful. They're so pure. And Triforce. So that's half. Could do a hell of a lot worse than that. hideout, I guess, is next? Or should I, uh... I don't know, maybe I should just do the... the caves. There's no cave here anymore. Swamp. Swamp cave! Wish my bird would follow me into the dark world, but the bird is not powerful enough for such things. That's right, the brain. The brain tree has a little something. Not a treasure chest, though. And I might not be able to get to this. How the fuck do you do the swamp again? I think you need, um... Yeah, I don't have the glove. I need the titan mitt for the swamp. There's a cave I keep missing there. Okay, I can't use that unless I have the book. You need Quake for Swamp Entrance, right? Let's see... Yeah, no, I don't have the Titan it. Listen, what I've been saying, Swamp, I mean level 2 in the Dark World, not the Swamp of Evil. What do you- what do you mean? 
Well, I can't get up here yet because I don't have the book. One is Swamp, one is Mire. Oh, right, okay. Well, there's a Triforce piece. Uh, I still don't have the book, so I can't get there. Do you mean... here? I'm gonna make that noise stop. I'll do this for all of us. Right of level 2 in the Dark World is a bombable wall. Oh, okay. Got it. So... Basically where I'm heading now. Also, it may not seem like much now, but those grass physics were no joke in 1992. North of level 2, there's a bombable wall. It has five, five items. I did that one already. That's the light world one. Maybe the Dark World Cave is the answer to our problems. Bridge Hobo? Didn't I do Bridge Hobo? <laughs> Does it say? Why is everyone for- Oh, there's a lot of- Oh, you're right! I didn't realize there were this many treasure chests in the dark world. Over here. Red Ouija? A Triforce. Still very many, many, many more left. So, yeah, it's kind of cool to get a new outfit for Luigi. Not so cool... ...that it doesn't add to progression. can do level 5 without the lantern, right. Well, I'm gonna try, um... I think you can do... How much of level 4 can you do? Dungeon 4. Okay, I can't actually get up there. I did the Ice Rod Cave, yeah. everything. Okay, so I'm gonna just do Dungeon 4 real quick. Still no boots. So very slow. This is not what Knuckles intended when he got Sonic pregnant. People's like to send me weird Knuckles and Sonic things. I don't know what... Maybe my streaming style betrayed my true desire to see Sonic and Knuckles as a couple. Maybe I've given subliminal messages, but that's another weird commonality people have. Like, once every couple weeks I get, like, a new Sonic Knuckles thing. From a different person, too, no less. Not- it's not the same every time.
I still, you know, I wish I had that Michael Jordan gif queued up. Stop it, get some help. I wish I had that available at all times. Okay, so... Plenty of treasure chests here. Titan mitts. Excellent. And this is the dungeon you're supposed to get Titan Mitts in. Granted, not that specific treasure chest, but not bad. I will take that. It's a very good item for progression. Slower at this than Link is. It's not until you play a randomizer that you realize, again, how important it is to get the first item in the game. The quest for the first item in the game. I just streamed this game last week, and this specific dungeon, I'm still getting lost. The lantern is in Ganon's tower. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if you're right. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Riding high now, I got the red boomerang. Could you imagine I have to kill Ganon to get the lantern? That's it, that's what I have to do. If I have to do it, then that's what I'll do. Fine. just have to do everything I can before you're able to get the lantern. So like all of dungeon 5, all of this dungeon, as much of any other dungeon that I can get to, and just hope that I get 20 out of 30 heart pieces, uh, Triforce pieces. I think it's, it's doable. Ganon is invincible in this mode. Oh, well, there goes the dream. Please shit on my dream. Okay. If you don't need to kill Ganon anyway, you just need to get the Triforce pieces, then it's inconsequential. Maybe the real lantern was the friends we made along the way. Desert, I'm gonna test your loyalty, and I'm gonna ask you to ban that gentleman in chat that just said that. And I wanna know, do you object to this? Just because he said the lantern was the friends we made along the way. I want to- I want to see where you stand morally on this issue. Desert immediately says who says it. Who said it. It's gonna get weirder and weirder until... I throw a fidget spinner that kills three dudes. Sorry, four dudes in a row. By, like... Gorging out their skulls. By the way, this is real. This was in the most recent Star Trek Discovery episode. And then the writers were like, so she throws- okay. 
There's this little disc that locks onto the dudes, and in slow motion they die one by one as like a little disc penetrates their fucking brain stems. And then the writer was like, yeah, we had a lot of fidget spinners in the office, and we needed a cool way to kill these people. So, uh, we just kind of wrote it into the script. Doesn't that sound very Star Trekian? You know, when I think of Gene Roddenberry's vision of the future, I think... I, I think of, of that. I think of fidget spinners, like, boring out people's brains. That's definitely a huge part of Gene Roddenberry's hopeful vision of the future. That's why I have to say I do like Star Trek Discovery as its own thing. I've said this before. I have to divorce it from Star Trek. That's the only way I can really get a... Again, I've done that. Didn't I did that- I did that last time, too. I do that every fucking time I play this game. The Abrams movies. Eh. You know, I, I don't hate them as much as I've made them out. As much as I've said I hate them. I think they're fine. Into Darkness is gen it's genuinely something I dislike. But the other two are more or less okay. For what they are. Which is sci-fi. Action. Schlock. Schlock. Mr. Schlock. But yeah, it's not, it's not what I like. It's not why I signed up. I signed up because of Captain Picard and like, you know, Mr. Scock. Bones. And like, the cool, cool moral quandaries that they have to go on and to fight, and they have to fight the Gorn. Kirk has to kill a lizard with his bare fucking hands. Every time I do this dungeon, I will go in circles. Doesn't matter how many times. Did you just duck burp? Uh, I don't think I did. Did I? No bow either. Silver arrows, no bow. I wonder, maybe this will be the bow. Come on. <laughs> you did it, desert. Your loyalty is unflinching. I need you to throw this fidget spinner into a couple dudes' brain stems for me, is that okay? Blind is going to drop a map. Oh no, you're right. Oh, that is such trash. God damn it.
Okay. The gloves opened up a lot, which we'll see more of next time, but I, I am going to do the Cave of Berna. That'll be my last order of business. I, I wanted to go a little extra. So... Legend, can you, can you, by the way, thank you for the help, Legend, whoever you are, appreciate it. Can you, uh, guide me in the direction to the cave of David Byrne one more time? So I need to get into the dark, oh, wait a minute, I can do the dark world from here. the dark world walk straight down okay so from here wait a minute isn't that supposed to be a dark world spot it's not that's not dark world enter dark world go down okay you need to jump down from the top fuck all right Okay, so listen, place your bets, everybody. I want you to mentally, like, receive the item that I'm going to get. Is it going to be a lantern? Is it going to be the bow? Is it going to be one rupee? Big 20 rupees? Is it going to be a bomb upgrade? Is it going to be a sword upgrade? Picture it. Feel it. And stick with it. So this this is going to be painful. Painful. It's the cape. Isn't that the exact item that's supposed to be here? Or no? That's exactly what it's supposed to- no, 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 not the cape, the- the cane is supposed to be here, you need the cape to get the cane, uh, yeah, to get the cane. The least used item in all of Zelda. Okay. Well, next time, we'll get the last nine pieces. I have... ...the Titan Mitts. So, that's good. You can go to the graveyard now, that's where the cape- oh, you're right. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. false endings today. <laughs> Wait 15 more minutes, please. Can't do it. Need the boots. cave left of there in the dark world. Oh well. Next time. Next time. Plenty of good stuff to come. Um, this turned out to be a lot longer. I thought this was going to be shorter than the pedestal run. Where you place the three pendants on the Master Sword pedestal and then you're done. I figured... 20 Triforce pieces. That's easy. Nope. So, this could be a little while longer from now. But I'm having a lot of fun. I love this randomizer, and it's always good to revisit Link to the Past. 
And, uh, yeah. Going to take a quick break, and I'm going to come back with a new game called Iconoclasts, which has piqued my interest where so many others have not. And uh, it might be just like a one-time thing. So we'll see. Stick around for a couple minutes, and I'll be back with more video games. Zhenghui.